Hi, I'm Bebo, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Rec Raiders. Rec Raiders is a family-friendly tabletop board game for two to four players. In this game, the objective is to be the player at the end with the most points, and you'll accomplish this by diving for treasure, curating a gorgeous collection, and using the baubles you find along the way to improve your dice rolls, collections, or fish tanks. To start the game, each player is given a player board, and the top of the box is placed face down on the table to form the dice pool. Each player is given a number of diver meeples depending on the player count and one player token. Place the player board and tokens within reach of all players, then flip over four exhibit cards to create objectives that each player may work toward. The game ends when any one player successfully completes five exhibits. The starting player begins the game by rolling these yellow dice into the dice pool. Each player's turn is then divided into four steps. You may take a die from the pool, you may move a diver and collect a reward, you may claim one or more exhibits, and then you may buy one aquarium piece. Step one, take a die from the pool. When a player takes a die from the pool, then they may or may not receive a bonus bobble token. If the die is touching or inside one of these squares, then they receive the corresponding token as a bonus, which they can then use later in the game. Step two, move a diver and collect a reward. Using the number on the die that you've collected, place your Meeple Diver either onto the beach or onto a wrecked treasure location. Beach locations allow you to gain additional baubles, which can be used in a number of different ways. Skull baubles allow you to manipulate your dice rolls. You may discard one of these to increase or decrease your die roll by one. The seashell baubles allow players to take an extra treasure for each one discarded when diving, and the starfish baubles allow players to substitute a treasure in their display for any other color of treasure in an effort to complete the exhibit goal card. When a player places one of their meeple divers into a wreck, then they collect one treasure, unless they choose to discard seashells with them, in which case they may collect an additional treasure for each seashell bobble discarded. If they place their diver meeple next to another player's or their own diver meeples, then each of their neighbors collects an extra treasure from that wreck. Much of the tactical crunchiness in this game comes from these tough decisions. You may also bump any opponent from one of these spots, but it better be worth it because it sends them to the beach to gain additional baubles. When collecting a treasure, players may choose to either place them into their vault or into their display. Treasures placed into the vault are placed face up, and they'll be worth points in two separate ways. You'll score one point for each unique treasure in the vault, and you'll also score points for each row that has three of the same color treasures. The first row will be worth three, then four, five, and six points. The catch, however, is that you may only place treasure into the vault if there's a spot for it. In order to place treasure into row six, you would then have to have ones in five, four, and three point rows as well, one stacked upon the other. Treasures placed into the display are placed face down, and you must place them strategically in order to claim the exhibit cards, which leads us to step three of the turn claiming one or more exhibit card. If a player has the correct corresponding treasures matching one of the exhibit cards, then they may claim one or more of these in the third phase. If they don't have just the right ones, then they may use their starfish baubles to lay over the incorrect treasures in order to claim the corresponding exhibit card. If the treasures are also in the same order as the exhibit card, then the player scores a bonus as listed in the bottom right hand corner. These range from extra baubles to aquarium tanks, which leads us into number four, claiming an aquarium piece. Aquarium pieces are purchased using baubles, and they score points at the end of the game based on two very neat features. The bottom and the middle components of the aquariums are worth a flat number of points as listed on the left-hand side. These range from three to four points, and each one of them has a cost listed on it in baubles, which you must pay to claim an aquarium piece. You may only buy one of these per turn. The top aquarium piece has a combo value. These score a number of points for each set of corresponding baubles in the aquarium. For example, this aquarium would score two points for every seashell bobble in the aquarium. The game end is triggered when any one player claims five total exhibit pieces. Then each player gets one last turn, no matter which player started the game. After adding up all of their points, the player with the most points is the winner. And that's how you play Rec Raiders. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming!